Hi everyone, Sarah here. So uh, today we are going to be taking this canvas here. This is one of the ones that was sent to me from GBFKE. I picked it out specifically because it was just a patterned background. So we are going to take this canvas and alter it. We're just going to do something to it to make it a little more interesting. <laughs> so I do have all of the drills already um, in my little storage container here and I've just numbered them 1 through 21. So these are all the colors. They're really, really pretty. I think it's going to be a really nice painting. Um, but to add to this, I want to add a word in here. So um, it's kind of reminiscent of Paint Gem. You can get custom word diamond paintings where like you get your name put on it or something. So I've just decided to try this one out myself. I have um, some special drills here. So these, all of these ones I purchased from dpwithsparklers.com. I'll put the link to them down below so you guys can see. Uh, but basically I purchased these ones. So they have AB drills, uh, round drills in, in, <laughs> in all kinds of colors. So you can go through and pick by DMC code the colors that you want so that you can customize your paintings. So I have this really pretty um, pastel baby pink that's 819, uh, a pastel baby blue that's 162, and then of course 5200. I also, these are 5200 AB, but these are 5200 glow in the dark. So I have my own glow in the dark drills. If I want to change any um, drills out on any uh, paintings that I already have. And then I have the pink, blue and white in AB. Now I just randomly picked these colors. This was my first order from this company. I think you get a really good amount of drills. I don't remember if it tells you how many. I honestly, I just got excited and I ordered. Um, and price wise, let me get my handy dandy little book out here. Because this was a while ago that I purchased these. I did write it down. So the AB drills were $3.50 each. So the pink, the blue, and the white all in the AB. The glow in the dark was $5.25. Um, and then I picked some, they call them sparklers. So they have um, crystals. So this one that I put sparklers frost, this actually isn't a sparklers, this is a crystal. So crystal AB frost. Um, it's just an AB crystal. So like the crystal gems that you get, um, like a plaster crystal. The rest of these ones are sparklers and they are like a crystal with a metal background. Um, so these ones are hummingbird. Oh, it's stuck. Then fairy dust. It's really, really pretty. And then we have the original sparklers is this one here. It is a super, super rainbow sparkly. And then I have original sparklers for squares. So this is the smaller size that you can put in your square diamond paintings. Okay, so those ones, also same place, dpwithsparklers.com. Uh, just the Crystal AB Frost was $4.50. Fairy Dust Sparklers were $8.00. Hummingbird were $5.50, original are $4, and original for squares are $3.50. So all of those I purchased, and then shipping, that was all US dollars, and then shipping was $12.64. Um, yeah, that was a lot, but it's fun to have these things to customize your diamond paintings. So after I purchased those, I started to go online on AliExpress and I started purchasing some of my own um, crystals and rhinestones. These ones are all different sizes. So these um, are actually what they call glow glass. So when you charge them with an LED light, 
they glow in the dark. And I actually used some of these little ones on my nails with some gel polish. So I would be like lying in bed at night and my nails were glowing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but these ones I picked up just in packages with all the different sizes. Um, so size wise for these, they didn't have any sizes that fit diamond paintings. So these ones I have, if I want to just randomly put some in, like the when I did the cat's eyes, that's what I used these ones on for one of my paintings to customize it. So I do have these. They're not the correct sizes. Um, but after that, I did start purchasing some specifically. So SS8 is the size that you need for square drills and SS10 is for round drills. So these are all um, crystals that I purchased and you can see this one here it looks just like the sparklers original so you can see them here side by side on the left is mine and on the right is the sparklers originals for squares they're pretty much exactly the same thing so that was just through Aliexpress uh, these ones are pink AB, and then these ones are rainbow. They're really, really pretty. Um, I don't want to tip them out right now, but when you shine the lights on them, they're all different colors, so it's like the sparklers. And then this one here is shiny purple is what they called it, and it almost looks like the fairy dust. It has more of a, a purpley taupe color to it. Really, really pretty. And this is a mix opal. So this one has pinks, whites, blues, and greens. And it's basically a mix of these ones down here. So I didn't realize that I actually purchased a mix, but then I purchased them separately. And then this one is a green flame sparkler. So you can see that it sparkles all different colors, like purple to green, anything like that. So I did purchase those and I have gone back and purchased the SS10 size so I'm waiting for those to come in and then these are the opals so there's a green opal and then the blue opal white and pink and I have those both in SS8 and SS10 so I have all of those to personalize my diamond paintings so to personalize this one I wanted to add a word and instead of just figuring out where to put it and kind of playing around with it as I go, I actually printed a word off my computer. So I picked a really thick um, font and I printed the word shine. And what you're gonna do is once you put it behind your diamond painting and put your light pad on, you can see it right through. So you wanna decide where you wanna place it on your diamond painting. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll probably get out a ruler so that I've centered it in here and then I'm going to tape this to the back of my canvas so that it doesn't move. So then once I do that I will be right back. I'm also going to add some washi tape to the edges of my diamond painting because of the glue coming over. Okay so I'll be right back. Okay so I have my word taped to the back of my canvas where I want it to go and you can see everything is shining through really nicely. <laughs> pun intended. Um, now for the colors, the background of this diamond painting is a really light blue. Um, let me see. Sorry, there we go. So it's a really light blue. Um, I'm trying to think of what color I want to do it in. I don't know if I want to do it solid, but let's see. I think I'm going to use the white pearl. Because I think that um, I might use the white pearl and then outline it with the frost sparklers. So I have some release paper on the bottom so that I don't stick my hand in there. Also going to get my pen ready here put some fresh wax in um, I had a
spoon. I do. The spoon is a bit big, but it'll work. <laughs> so, we're gonna open this up. We have our tray, and I'm just gonna scoop some of the pearls in here. And show you guys how super sparkly these are. So pretty. I need to turn this light off so that I can see my word shining through. So I hope this is okay for you guys. Um, and basically, we're just going to fill in these words. Now, the one thing with using sparklers and any other custom drills that you haven't purchased specifically from like, or they haven't come specifically with a kit. If you're just buying crystals and stuff, like going with the SS10 size, um, they could not, or could be an off size compared to a regular drill because they're not all, like when you buy crystals, it's an average size for the crystal. So what I'm saying is, is that you might have a hard time fitting your crystals in on your canvas. There might be a little bit of popping or a little bit of space issues. This is the first time I'm doing this, so bear with me. Who knows? It might not turn out. <laughs> we'll see. I was just going to, oh, that's not an outline. Slide. I'm going to try an outline. Again, with these AB Frost. And fill in with the sparklers. But you guys can see this too, probably without the lights on. Oh, it's good when you have a drill on your pen. With the lights off, you might not um, fully be able to see every now and then. I am skipping one just because it doesn't necessarily make sense in that spot to me. After I get this one done, we'll uh, turn the light on and see see what you think. I might, 
I made this side a little skinnier, so I might do that to this side. Okay, so then I'm gonna fill in with my pearls. These ones are fitting in really nicely. some up here. Let's do this one here. And one more in there. Oops. Just slid it right across. That one doesn't look very good. Okay, I think that's it. You see the sparkle and shine. The ones on the, that I used to outline, the Frost AB, just give like a, a tiny bit of an iridescent look to it more than like the, the pearl opals. So I think that that's going to be really pretty. So I am going to finish up the rest of this and come right back. Okay, so my word is finished. I love it. It is super shiny. Um, I think it's gonna stand out more once we get the drills in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually do the drills on a time lapse. It shouldn't take too long. <laughs> There's not too much to it, but we'll see. I might just uh, cut and paste some of the time lapsing for you guys. So I will be back.
All right, I am back. The diamond painting is finished. I have lots of extra colors. As you can see, there's tons of blue. Um, really, I didn't cover too much of the regular spots, so this is just them sending extra or having extra in their in their kits. So there's tons of extra. Um, I did use, yeah, so there's six containers of the blue and I ended up using three of them. So I just used half. And here is the finished canvas. It is adorable. Um, I know the word blends in really nicely with this and that's kind of what I wanted. I just wanted you to see it at certain angles. So let's see if this white will help with the extra sparkle and shine. It's hard to see. Let me come up close. Look at that. Sparkly. The rest of it sparkles really nicely too. So to finish this off, um, this canvas was 30 by 30, but obviously I think it was ended up being like 25 by 25 uh, because that that's the outside edge, not the inside edge. But 30 by 30 would be a 12 by 12. And I have all of these 12 by 12 um, picture frames from my scrapbooking that I had purchased at Dollarama for $2 quite some time ago. So they like just are in my stash. I think now if you're looking for 12 by 12 frames, they still have some. They might not necessarily be the same as these ones, but um, they are probably run around three or four dollars. But this one is just a nice wood frame and it's actually plexiglass. It's not glass. So it's just a thin plexiglass. But for it to go in there, we do need to finish off the edges. So I have heard of some people painting the edges of their canvas. I thought I'd give that a try. But before we paint, we need to get the adhesive off because if we leave that adhesive on there, you are going to see a line even if you paint it, you're gonna still see the line where the adhesive is. And that might be okay, but, so you can tell the adhesive comes out to here, you, you would see the difference between there. So basically, what I'm gonna do, just take some makeup sponges and rubbing alcohol. So I always have rubbing alcohol in my craft room to help clean my um, alcohol markers to get sticky off of stuff it's just a common thing in my craft room so basically you just want to rub it in here and you can see that the sticky is coming right off let me try and zoom in for you guys because the adhesive is clear I don't know if you're going to be able to see <laughs> you may not be able to see what I'm seeing so as you can tell down here there's no sticky and then up here is where the sticky is so basically, I'm gonna go around the entire thing. Now, I also tried something down here. Some people said that um, you can rub alcohol on the edges of the canvas to get the printing off. Now, I don't know, that sounds like a lot of work to me. The drill there, and I don't know if that was me. I can tell some of it comes off and it gets lighter but I think it's gonna be way too much work to try and sit there and get all of it off 
I think that that would be ridiculous. I'm hoping that the paint's gonna cover it anyways, so that's what we're gonna try. I see where my little drill went. There you go. So um, I'm not gonna torture you guys by watching me take off all the adhesive. I'll come back when I'm ready to paint, okay? All right, we are back. Um, let me just fix the camera here. I got uh, most of the adhesive off. Pretty much that way there's not a line. I did end up using my adhesive remover from Dollar Tree uh, to go across it first around the edges and then I went in with the rubbing alcohol just to make it a little bit easier. Now I also just have some Christmas red acrylic paint here from my craft room and I have an angled brush and I'm just going to use the angled brush to get in as close as I can without painting the drills. <laughs> Let's try not to paint the drills. And I'm definitely gonna have to do a couple coats. Like this isn't gonna cover right over. But it's acrylic paint, it'll dry fast. I can probably do like two or three coats. And I'm pretty much gonna go out as far as I can. I don't think I need that much room. But it's better safe than sorry. I think that that's gonna be a good color to accentuate the flowers. Oh my goodness, I got a drop of paint on a green drill. How did I do that? Hey. Ay ay ay. painting the drills, you know, just gonna paint my own diamond painting. See this side, I did not do the best job of removing the adhesive. So, um, I don't know if you guys can really see, there's like a little tiny bit still close to the drills. my arm. There's some adhesive I forgot to get off. <laughs> Just gobs of it. I think down here is where I'm going to have to do quite a few coats anyways to cover up all those words. dry there. All right, so I am going to let that dry and do as many coats as I need to and get a baby wipe so I can clean up the splatter that I have. I don't know how I splattered paint, but we will get that cleaned up.
I will be right back. Okay, so I am back to share with you my finished project. I ended up doing, I believe, four and a half, maybe five coats, um, mostly on the, the sides that had the writing on it. I did five full coats of the uh, red acrylic paint. And then I decided since the acrylic paint just looked really matte against the diamond painting, I actually had this Martha Stewart glitter um, in cherry cola that I did a coat on top of the acrylic paint to make it all sparkly. <laughs> so you guys can see the sparkle on the border of the painting there. It turned out really nice. Um, I really, really love it. The word shine is very, um, I want to say muted. It just blends in and I think it's a really good piece. You have to look at it to see it. I might change it out. I'm not sure. I do have other um, sparklers coming that are like di different, brighter, darker colors. So I might change the outline of it, but I'm not sure. And I didn't put the plexiglass on. Um, mostly because it'll add extra shine on top of it, like you'll get um, reflections. But there were also some slight imperfections in it, obviously, because it's from the dollar store. There were some little brown dots inside of the plexiglass, so I decided against using the plexiglass. But I think that that turned out really cute. So cool. So now you guys can personalize your diamond paintings, add some words, um, sparkle them up. And yeah. So if you have any questions down below, let me know. Um, I will have the links again to DP Spark or Diamond Painting with Sparklers, DP with Sparklers.com to get some sparklers for yourselves. But even if you have uh, rhinestones in your craft stash from other crafts like I do. <laughs> check them out see if they're the right size all right so that is it hope you guys enjoy please leave a comment subscribe and have a great day thanks bye